Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on Team Ups TV. So we just learned that the main opposition, the Triple C, has been hit by a wave of double countries fueled by state security agents to cause some confusion and undermine the party's prospect of winning in some constituencies and wards in the 23 August general elections. Double candidates robbed the Triple C predecessor MDC alliance in 2018, resulting in loss of many constituencies and wars that were technically won by the opposition. The Stradowi, forever associates of Zimbabwe, the first outfit is run by the Central Intelligence Organization, he has seized uh, control of the electoral process to rig the polls. First is led by CIO Code Deputy Director General Retired Brigadier General Tatafumane. The outfit is not a constitutional body or official arrangement but an underground operational unit frantically campaigning for President Emerson Nangagwa and Sanu PF in the elections. First, has displaced the army's key structure called Heritage, which used to perform a similar role in other functions during elections. In 2018, the army ran elections through Heritage and Africa, a conveyed communication service provider. Zimbabwe is a long history of disputed elections, especially after 2000. The Triple C debut spokesperson gift Australia Ceseva yet this to say. We know that FAS is fraudulently created fake signatures for candidates to be registered under Triple C without our approval. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission is our letter with official signatures designated to sign on behalf of TF of Triple C. We have not signed for any double candidate anyway. It's criminal, it's fraud, and we will not accept it. Read part of the tweet sent by Australos narrating how fast managed to get away with this one. Of course, we thought and we understood that the process that was being done by the Triple C will not be infiltrated and it will go uh, flawlessly. We assumed that the process will be watertight, but it seems as if Zanupiev will always have its way around Triple C. This time, they have also managed to make sure that in a whole lot of constituencies, they will be double or even triple candidates. I'm told in April, it's not there are triple candidates. And in other constituencies, there are double uh, candidates, like the, 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 the notable one, Marondera. In Marondera, where Triple C fielded two candidates, including Castro and Mateo, they've promised to rectify all these anomalies. And of course, it, it goes down to the person on whether he wants to withdraw their candidature before the election. Anoko Neganem Faru, Dinduenyu, Honorable Madiva.